What's up good people? Welcome to another video. In this video we are going to make this simple yet elegant looking carousel in Figma. So as you can see it's animating on its own. So let's jump into design. So first what we're going to do um, I'm going to take one component from here so that I can show you quickly what we are going to do here. So it can be any kind of card. Um, you can uh, design it as the way you want it. But right now, let us focus on this card. The image that we have used over here is basically center aligned. This one. And yep, I'm going to break this one from the component. Yep. Then we can see, if you look at the image, it is center aligned and bottom. So by doing this, what we can achieve from here is if we reduce the size, the image is going to stay at the center. So we are going to do in this way. So what we need to do, we need to have the full design of the card and then we need to reduce the card, duplicate the card and reduce the size to maybe 180 or whichever size we want. Then go inside the card, hide this one from here and also we have this gradient applied here so I'm gonna hide this one as well and then I'm going to select both of this combine them as create multiple components from there combine them as variants yep and then I'll rename it as um, default yep and this one as open yes and then again i can actually rename it to date right so that, what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take this one and duplicate it maybe five times like yeah four times and then apply auto layout here and maybe 48 distance right and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create um, five variants, just like this, right? And I'll select the corresponding one, which one I want to open, just like this. And then I'll move the state from default to open, right? So it's open now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of this and combine them, like create multiple components from there and combine them as variants. So we are using nested component architecture here. And then what I want to do, I want from this section to this section. And I want to apply smart animate. Then I'll apply a custom spring so um, maybe I'll make the stiffness to 600 and the damping to 60 so it gives this kind of uh, smooth uh, linear movement here and I want the uh, animation uh, to be happened like 300 millisecond I think that's fine yep and then I want to do the same from here to here to here and then from here to the top one. And then I'm gonna come back here, select all of it and change the click event to after delay and maybe I want to have um, 100 millisecond or 10 millisecond doesn't matter yeah so yep then I'm going to duplicate it like not duplicate but take a variation from here and then I'll maybe apply a frame to show you I think it will work right now so yeah I'm gonna change the color to something dark right and then let's play it uh, 
uh, it's happening too quickly. Let's change the after delay to 2000 milliseconds. So we want it like we want to have the open state for two seconds, right? So then now we can check it just like this. Yep, that's it. It's happening. Cool. Now we just need to come here and change the images. So yeah, that's it. And yep, this is the way we can make this beautiful looking, but yet really simple carousel item. So yeah, th this was it. Happy designing.